Well, I've given myself a new challenge tonight. Um, I was given this washing machine by a relative because it quit working. Can't remember the symptom. I don't know if it wouldn't spin, wouldn't agitate, something. I'll find out for sure and update it in the video. But uh, for whatever reason, it didn't work right, so she got a new set. So she knows I like to tinker on stuff. So I turned it upside down. I seen the problem light off. We got all this oil slinging everywhere because got the belt oily and of course it was slipping. Then I did a little research and I found out this particular design, you see this transmission is actually spot riveted together. It's a sealed unit. Transmission is on $170, $200. But I did find out, and I guess in, in this particular design, the little bitty gearbox, it's got a little, like a little set of planetaries in there, like a gear reduction. It's all plastic parts. And they put maybe two ounces of oil in there. And there's a little oil seal, and I guess the seal eventually gets worn and it begins to leak. But then later models, they no longer put oil in them. They just put uh, like a, probably like a lithium grease, something e easy on plastic parts. So my goal is to try to drain out the existing oil, get it out, and then put in a replace of it some uh, some grease so I don't know if it's gonna be successful or not but I'm gonna dig into it and see how far I get so my first little deal I'm gonna take this motor loose looks like just a couple of bolts unplug this connector should be easy enough and see if I can gain access to the housing back in here and uh, just see if I can't possibly drill a little hole in it so uh, let's get some tools okay you can see that was easy enough two bolts one nut Cut that off. Let's see. Get it out of the way. Do this with one hand. Get the belt off. All right. That's out of the way. Pull the pulley off. Ain't that fancy? All right. So oil is coming out from around here, and there's a little seal in there. But in here, there's a little gearbox. Let me do a little more digging and see if I can gain access to it. Okay, I got started jumping ahead here. I took these two Phillips screws out to remove this little device out of the way. And then I pushed in on this little clip here. You got another little clip, another one on the bottom. And then it enabled this to come off. So there we go. It's like the clutch mechanism. All right, so we got this little spring, got that out of the way. So I was checking, and that's the main bearing. So the bearing is good. It's nice and tight. It's just the seal. And you can see the seal there that has failed. Now, I've got to try to gain access. Let's see if you can get a light in there. There you go. Okay, see that white part? That's the gearbox. That's with those little, that's what's holding the oil. We try to get access to that somewhat in an easy way. So let me think about that. Okay, you see what I've done? Took me a quarter inch drill bit, pierced me a hole in the side here. And if you can see down in there, you see what I'm doing? i get it in the right spot. Pretty tricky here. All right, there we go. So I'm drilling me a little hole right up high, right there. So I've already done some drilling. You see some plastic. So I'm gonna carefully do some more drilling, just to just pierce the plastic, because the gears ride just below that. So that I, sh I should be able to pierce that housing and not get into the gears. And I'm using this little weird drill here, because it's kind of short, because uh, I don't have a whole lot of room here to, to drill. So I'm going to carefully, well, I'll show you here what I'm doing. Okay. You see what I'm doing? Carefully drilling through. So I'm gonna get both hands on this so I don't mess up. Then I'll report back. Okay, so I just punched through. Let's see if you can see here. And it was quite, a, it's, it's kind of thicker than you think it would be. See, there's, I find the hole. Okay, there we go. So pull it back. All right. Some in and I'm not hitting any gears, I don't believe. So I think we're in good shape. We've got that accomplished. Took five, ten minutes. No problem. 
Now, let's see if we can get any oil out of it. And I uh, don't know, maybe it's all drained out already. I'm not for sure. Okay, if you want to follow along, you can see... Where's my hole at? There it is. Okay, see that hole? All right, so I've kind of carefully lined it up. Yeah, there's a hole. And it made me some marks. So I'm going to rotate that, put these marks down to the bottom. Let it sit for a while and see if any oil comes out. And uh, if it does, fine. If it don't, fine. We will uh, then put some grease in it. Because I suspect as much oil as all around here, it may have slung it all out. Because there was quite a bit of oil under here. Okay, I want to stop and insert a little information here for you. You can see how I'm doing editing on the video. And I realized I need to add some information. One thing I want to add is remember how I had... The, all the oil residue and stuff is in the bottom. I didn't point out how I got that out. I use uh, this brake parts cleaner and it, you can get it at Walmart dirt cheap, two ninety seven. But you can spray that in there and it will instantly rinse all the oil out of it and it dries very quick because otherwise you'd never get a rag in there and get all that cleaned out. That's some great stuff. Next thing I want to point out is the fellow I got this ideal from, uh, his channel, and I'll put a link to the, his video, um, uh, Washer Dryer Money is his channel got a lot of good information there when it comes to uh, appliance repair and you can see here this is what this is the transmission I just repaired and uh, he was talking he took he completely disassembled it to show how it was made and how it's really not designed to be serviced but and he shows the amount of oil that was in there originally and also the fact that uh, let, me, let me find that the other spot here okay so here's a screenshot of um, of a newer gearbox I think that GE uses and same design with the little plastic planetary gears and they use grease instead of oil so that's more or less what we've just done and done it without taking the transmission all apart so I thought I want to just insert that so all right back to the show I think it's working I see oil I actually saw a couple drops see the oil down there so it is leaking out you saw another drop. All right, so I think the best plan of attack is let this sit through the night, uh, leak all the oil out of it, and then once it does that, I got to figure out a tactful way to get grease back in there and then seal up the hole. So that's it's going to take some thinking, but we'll get it figured out. We're going to have a working washing machine before you know it. Okay, I'm proud of this one. This is a pretty cool trick. So I found me a piece of rubber hose. I got to thinking, well, the seal is leaking. What, how could I pressurize to get more oil out of it? Now, I did it just one time, and a big gush of oil came out. So see what I've done. I've taken this hose. It fits in here nice and snug. So I've done that. Get in there, back in there again. Hope I can repeat it. All right, and I take this air hose. All right, see, it's nice and snug. I'm going to see if I can get another burst of oil like I did the first time. Come on, camera, get in the right spot. That I'm going to do it a little bit more, get all the oil out of it. It's really going to make a mess, and I'm going to have to dry that up real good when I'm done. But uh, once I get all that out, I won't have to worry about uh, any more oil coming out and getting slipping on the belt. Cool beans, cool beans! Okay, to make this faster, I'm making a mess. I drilled me a little hole right there, you see it? So that oil could come out a little bit quicker. Anyway... That's what I've done. I made a mess, but I'll, I'll clean it up. Just let it drain for the night, and maybe we can start putting it back together tomorrow. And we'll have a working machine. Okay, it's been a day or two. All the oil is dripped out, and I'm about ready to reassemble this. But I wanted to point out something because I didn't make this clear, I don't think. Uh, when I was, I mentioned to you I used a quarter inch drill bit to pierce the side right here. And then I wallowed it out a little bit, so I'd have some uh, room to operate. But I didn't mention I, I stepped down a size to drill into the case. Um, there's a hole up there. Came in the right spot. Yep, yeah, you see our hole. 
if I can see if I can get it down here. Let me pause that for a second. Okay, there we go. So you see, actually I used a 730 seconds to uh, to make my hole, and I'll explain why. Because it's important to choose the correct hole you're going to decide to use. Let me make sure I told you right. Yeah, 730 seconds. Because you got to think about how you're going to plug that hole. So I got me a little tote here full of all kinds of rubber grommets and things, and I was digging around, and I came up with the perfect little grommet right here. You can see it there, and, and I don't know where this came from, so if I did, I'd tell you what it came off of. It would be handy to get get some more, but there's a lot of these different things you could you could use. I also thought about, like, the end of a big, big, a big ink pen. We'll get it out here in a minute. You could use a cap off one of those, anything like that that's going to seal up that hole. And then once you get something to seal up the hole with, you know, you either put you some silicone, or this is like gasket maker material, silicone, polyurethane, anything that's really good and sticky that'll, that'll cure and, and hold it in place. And so what I did, I did a, a test run. I just got some scrap plastic here, simulating that, the, the gearbox. So I used this drill bit, drill through, so I'd know for sure that this little grommet would fit in there nice and snug in there like that push down on it so nice that fits so that should do, act the same way on that gearbox uh, after i put my grease in so um well yeah i've got some papers here to show you because you can get this stuff if you want to go this far you can see like here on amazon what they're called they're called black snap on hole plug silicone rubber blanking and I'll, you can get them on amazon different places you see get you can get all kinds of different sizes and I think I got another shot here from Amazon. Here's something you get from Amazon. Now this is a larger hole, quarter inch hole. You really don't need a, that big a hole in that gearbox if you don't if you don't have to. Whatever, whatever you want to use, it'll work just the same, just the way we can get some grease in there. Now that's the next step. Let's get some grease in it. So I did a little test run. I just took a little syringe here and put some regular grease. This is like wheel bearing grease. It's a little bit thicker and I just kind of did a test and it's going to work just fine so i can just squirt that right in there so but i wanted to get the proper grease so i did some research look on plastic parts and plastic gears my research shows you want to use something that is a synthetic based grease and then something with ptfe in it this is like five bucks on amazon i guess it's on how many ounces is in here but i'll put you know maybe two or three ounces of grease should be more than enough so that's what i'm going to do next i'm going to clean this out put in the silicone based grease and uh We'll inject that into the gearbox and we'll be ready for a test run. All right, you seem about ready to go. I just took my silicone grease, stuck on the end of that, filled it plumb full. I put my stopper in here and then we will um, go put this in the gearbox and get two hands on it. Okay, I think you, you'll, you'll get the idea. Let me find the hole. Where is it at? Get the camera. There it is. All right, so I've turned it up here where I can get to it. I'm going to Put the syringe in here. I'm gonna take two hands. So let me get two hands on it, get it lined up, and we'll fill up full of grease. Okay, you see I got the syringe in position. All I gotta do is just push it down and squirt that grease right into that gearbox. Easy peasy. I'll do that a few more times and we'll be ready to go. Okay, if you can see down in there, you can see I got my little plug. Got it full of grease. And I'm about to try to manipulate, get that plug down in there and pop it into place. So that's something I'll need two hands for. Okay, I've tried to zoom in right there. You see how well that worked out? I just put a little dab of grease on my finger and held it in place as I reached down in there and popped it right in that little hole. So that worked out good. Now I'm going to put a little, um, I'll put some kind of sealant over top of that just for a little extra reassurance. So here's what I had handy. That's what I used to put over top of that plug. And you kind of see it in there, kind of gooey. So you get a little extra sealant on there. So when that thing gets to spinning, less uh, likely for that little plug to fly out. So uh, let's gather up my parts and finish reassembling this so we can turn it on. All right, well, reassembly is pretty straightforward, just like you took it off. Got your spring on there, you put this little clutch mechanism. Also, I took my um, uh, synthetic grease here, or silicone grease. I added it to these little ramps 
to help facilitate that ratchet uh, movement as the servo motor turns and it engages and disengages. I figured that'll help a little bit. A little less friction. Try to do this with one hand. Hey, oh, I think I need to turn it like that, I do believe. No, I think it's right. Tell you the truth, I need to, I don't know for sure. Let me stop and think, make sure I'm putting this in the right click. Okay, I think I got it oriented correctly now. To snap together, I'm trying to do this with one, one hand. Mount the whole servo on there, just got two Phillips screws and put the pulley and motor on, we'll be ready. And I also put a little dab of grease in here so where that actuator rubs on, it'll be nice and smooth. Yeah, it's doing its job. Just put this in place, get my two Phillips screws, plug up my connector, motor and pulley, and we'll be done. Okay, so just the reverse as you took it apart. There's the two Phillips screws I just installed. Stood the pulley on. I just got to tighten up this nut. Tighten up those two bolts. Snap my connector on here. We'll be able to turn this thing right set up and turn it on and let's get to, get to doing some washing. Well, fate, ain't fate a funny thing. Remember that little, that little cap I used to seal off that gearbox? And I pointed out earlier, I had no idea where it came from. I just dug it out of my little box of junk and goodies. Well, as, as would just would happen, I had a water heater to fail on me. So I just got done installing this water heater. And and, and I was put, hooking up this water sensor doodad in case it ever leaks. It, it shuts it down. And when you go to plug plug it up, there's a little hole. And when you to plug it up, you have to pull this cap off. And sure enough, that's what it is. So that's where I found this thing. Don't know where you ever buy them at, but that's where it came from at least. We got that mystery solved. And here's test number one. It's working so far. I'm going to run it through several washes maybe over the next few days. And then uh, I'll check to see if there's any oil residue, anything coming out the bottom of the gearbox. Well, it's been about four or five days since I've put this together and I've ran it for at least 25 washings and everything looks good. I've, I took it back to part just to double check my work because I was concerned I want to make sure there's no leaking. So you can see here there's no evidence of oil. If it was leaking out, it would come out around this gear. You'd see it. Also, you would see it on the inside of this gear here. All, everything is perfectly dry. We're not seeing anything. Then inside here, all is dry. Because if it was, if it was, if my little, remember I put that little hole in there and sealed it up with silicone, which right there you can see it, it's holding. Because if it had a leak, we'd have grease oozed out and slung everywhere. So everything's nice and dry, and I think this is going to be a success. A success. So if you've got a transmission that's leaking on you and you don't have the money to spend 200 bucks to have it replaced or more, which probably wouldn't be worth it. But all I was at was like five bucks. So all it cost me to do this little project. A little bit of time. It was a fun experiment. And uh, so anyway, I thank you for watching. You guys have a blessed day. See you. Bye.